A gunman accused of shooting at two officers in two states is on the run. Kids at one, at least one, Kentucky school district have been told to stay home for three days now out of fears the fugitive, identified as 62-year-old Floyd Cook, could be nearby. Crime Siders Graham Cates is here with me. Graham, thanks for coming by. So let's start at the beginning. Explain why this guy's on the run. This has been just a really wild manhunt. It started on Saturday in Tennessee. Uh, Floyd Cook was driving and he was pulled over by a, a police officer in uh, Tennessee. And what the officer didn't know at the time was that Cook is uh, a registered sex offender who kind of disappeared a few months ago. Um, officers were going to check in on him and, and he wasn't there. Uh, and he's also was indicted in July for trafficking methamphetamines. And uh, when the officer approached his vehicle, Cook fired at the Tennessee officer, shooting him. Mm. He was wearing a bulletproof vest. He, he's mostly uninjured. But Cook fled. And uh, just a few hours later, police spotted him in Kentucky. And they uh, tried to pull him over. And he actually wrecked his vehicle. And then there was a shootout. And he fired at one of the Kentucky officers. And the officers fired back. But uh, Floyd, actually, uh, Floyd Ray Cook actually managed to escape. Now, pick up on Sunday. Uh, he, he pulled, he, according to a teenager, he comes out of the woods and approaches this teenager in uh, Burkeville, Kentucky, and, um, and points his gun at him. And the teenager kind of uh, calls the police and drives away. But then there was a standoff in that teenager's house uh, where police believed Cook was inside the house. And uh, when they finally got into it, they sent SWAT in hours later, Cook was gone. This is an incredible story. And now the FBI and the U.S. Marshals are also looking for this guy? Yeah, that's exactly right. But uh, basically, the way they explain it is when someone uh, goes across state, state lines, lines while yeah. avoiding the police, they, they get involved. But there was actually more to that standoff. Um, a few hours after the standoff, that house was burned to the ground. Wow. This is an incredible story. So what happens next? Police are searching for him. Uh, the FBI just told me they've made it a statewide search across all of Kentucky. Uh, they don't really, at least they're not saying if they have any idea where he is. But they also say he might be with a companion. Uh, they say the man's name is Troy Wayne. He's 50. Um, he's from Raywick, Kentucky. Um, they won't say what their uh, relationship might be um, or why they think that, that uh, Wayne might be with Floyd Ray Cook. Uh, but they're saying they've released his description. They're saying they might be in a beige 2006 Ford Ranger. Wow, it's just an incredible story. Graham, keep us up to date. Thanks very much for coming by. Remember, you can track investigations and read up on the big crime stories of the day at cbsnews.com slash crimesider.